Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is day three, the, the third day of November, hit the link, uh, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me reset this apparently, without looking at it, uh, and let me know what you think about this poem, longest palindrome by concatenating, concatenating two letter words, um, the, the, Number 2131 suggests that I think we probably did this recently in a contest. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I don't know what that means. And apparently I've solved this before, but um okay. You give an array of string words, each of them contains two letter words, two lowercase English letters. Um longest possible pandrum by selecting some elements from words and concanning them in any order. Each element can be selected at most once. Okay. Hmm. So I would say that, yeah, I mean, I just, first of all, let, let's put them in a calendar because the actual thing doesn't really matter. Um, and then the key thing to note is that there's a greedy thing, right? Meaning that you could just keep on building, building uh, from it. So, so. We can just do it in a couple of ways. So let's just say total is equal to zero. We return total. And then for x, uh, for w, say, a word in c dot keys, we want to just do total. We could probably do this in a couple of ways, but let's just do total duh, 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 um, min of this and c of word to do negative one. Um, yeah, and then th this means that we're double counting, I think. So let's run it real quick. I don't know if this is quite the correct syntax. I might have to join it. Um, yeah, so this would be double counting because, for example, for LC, it counts once, and then it also matches CL again. So, no, oh, but the GG, I think we missed this one. Hmm. Okay. But I think this is kind of, and we also count the words instead of the length. So we have the times two and then minus two, or divided by two. So it kind of cancels out a little bit. But, so this adds one, this adds one, and then this adds one. So it comes out to three, which is a little bit awkward. Oh, wait, we have the times two. Hmm. Um, hmm. How do I think about this, right? Um, because the only special case is the w one case where this is true, and we also have to consider. Um, okay, I guess we have to consider something like if word of zero is equal to words of one, then we have to do something different, right? Otherwise, we can do this thing, and then maybe we can do it by two or something like that. But uh, let's just say let's separate them out a little bit. Um, you can also maybe just do it another way, which is um, else if word sub zero is less than word sub one, because then now you don't do the symmetry thing. Um, you symmetry breaking, and that should be okay. But in this case, what we want is total to the min of uh, is equal to c of word divided by two, and then i is equal to zero. And then odd is equal to max of odd um, c of word uh, mod 2, right? Um, yeah, and again, we probably have to do, times this by 2, but I think this is okay. The odd is just basically, well, maybe I did it in a funky way. Hmm. This is one, one pair. Oh, one pair. This is, okay, so this is times 2 because it's one pair, but each pair contains Two, two things and each thing contain two things, right? So I think maybe this is more right. Oh, and also odd times two because for that same reason. Eh, network error. Is the code having issues again like a couple of days ago? Hmm, that's odd. I guess this is one, so it contains four, but then odd should be. Hmm. Since C of word should be uh 
it should be one, right? So, okay, let's see. So this is returning one times two. Oh, this is this times two times two. That's why. Okay. The, the multiple timesing of t multiplying two was a little bit confusing, but I think we're okay now. So let's give it a quick summary. Hopefully we didn't miss any cases. Oh, no, we did uh, I guess we missed a lot. Oh, this is silly. I think this part, I, I didn't do the math here. Uh, this time. So that's the number of pairs of words times two times two. Right? Uh, I actually was thinking about this case, and then I got distracted by, I don't know, the other stuff that I forgot about it. Okay, fine. Now let's hope we got it right. Thankfully, this isn't during the contest. Did I screw up during the contest as well? Uh, I guess I did screw up during the contest. What did I do? I, I missed the same case, so I guess we're consistent there. <sighs> um, and then I fixed it. Kind of, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, uh, this is going to be linear time, linear space, just because of the counter. And this is just a loop through it. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. That's pretty much all I have, though. So yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.